Hey guys, what is up? It is Bibzuda7 here again, and welcome to another video here on the latest RuneScape 3 skill that came out yesterday, Archaeology. Uh, I know I haven't had as many videos today as I did have yesterday, and that's not for lack of playing. I have still been playing for pretty much the whole day doing Archaeology on both of my accounts. It's just things have slowed down quite a bit. Uh, especially in the mysteries department, which is where I was making most of my videos, although I am on the verge of cracking another mystery, so I'll probably be having another mystery guide up soon. Um, I'm currently 63 archaeology on this account and 64 on my hardcore, so I'm making some pretty good progress. I was actually, last time I checked, on the front page of the hardcore high scores with my hardcore account, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at right now. But um, yeah, this video is going to be for all of the special research that I have found thus far at the Everlight dig site. I did one of these for Caridet and one for the Infernal Source, so you can check those out as well if you'd like to see them. Um, but yeah, the Everlight is a very large area um, at the start. There's nothing, there's no um, mysteries you need to do to unlock anywhere that I've found yet. I'm sure that my, there are going to be different areas to it, but I have not gotten there yet, and I'll be making updates to these um, special research videos when I do get deeper into these dig sites. But starting off here, there are five special researches that I have found here on Everlight. And if there are any on the surface that I didn't find, then please let me know as um, I would like to have them added in. But I did a pretty thorough search and double checked, uh, so hopefully I did find them all here but um yeah the first one is right across the scaffold after you teleport here it's going to be a mound of earth which is right up here kind of like a gravestone area thing um, and you just want to study that for your first one so we can go ahead and do that study the mound of earth and we get the special research lions and unicorns and centaurs oh my so that's the first one you can get um, and i'm just i just want to look where would be the best? Okay, I guess next we'll head up north. Um, they're kind of all over the place here. Actually, I haven't gone off to... Oh, no, I have. I always get confused with the orientation of this place because you're coming in from the west, and I, I don't know why, but that just messes with my head. Um, but anyways, you want to go north from the spot where you jump across the scaffold and come up to the amphitheater here where you do training at, uh, like, I think level 51 and, and 56 are, are some plots here. And you just want to come over and study the amphitheater stage for another piece of special research right there. So we're going to do that. And we get the Ode to Midsummer Morning special research from that one. And now you're going to want to go all the way back to the start and... Uh, actually continue on in the opposite direction once we traverse the bridge here. Just give me a second to do that. Like, I don't know why in my head when I'm doing the, when I'm like looking at this mini map, for, I don't know what's gone wrong with me, but for some reason I always think that the the way that is out over this way where you're doing a lot of your training is is actually supposed to be south but south is a, a different place but just keep going off to the east um, past the first training area and the deposit box heading down to the spot where i am currently training that you unlock at level 61 which is down here by the uh the dominion uh, i think it's called like the dominion games something what is it dominion games stadium uh, and then right here in the water is a stadium column that you can study and that will give you another piece of special research right there. One other thing that I noticed over here, um, by the way, that one's called Stadio Gaga. Um, you can actually interact with this golden hoop, uh, but it doesn't actually do anything. I don't know what that's for, but that might be something in the future. Just something I noticed. It says it's unclear what these were made for, perhaps some kind of sport. Looks like Quidditch to me. Are they playing Quidditch up in this place? I don't know. We'll have to see. But anyways, the last two pieces of special research that are available here so far that I've found are going to be across this stone uh, rubble bridge thing here. So you just want to come back to near the start. The scaffolding's right there and head south across this broken bridge and there's going to be two more pieces of special research in this area. There's also these statues, and there I think I found some of these. I'm going to do a different video for the statues once I figure out the final solution for all of them, what they're for, the rewards, maybe there's a mystery behind them, so that's why I'm not talking about those. But um, 
right in here, right in this little building, right across the broken bridge is a partial statue that you can study for another piece of special research. As you'll see, we get home sweet home available. And then there is one final one available that you're gonna have to come south from here and go across this plank right here, uh, traverse the plank. And um, by the way, if anybody knows, do any of these agility things have requirements for them? I have 99 agility on both my accounts, so I haven't been able to see if it does or not. I kind of doubt it does, but at the same time, I'm not sure. Um, I haven't seen anybody mention it, so I'm assuming not. But either way, come across the plank, go south, up the stairs, and then up north through this little building, down the stairs to this platform, and you will find a stone tablet here, which you can study for the fifth and final piece of special research that I found at the Everlight ground of the polis. And uh, I have scoured the area pretty thoroughly, so I am reasonably confident that those are all of the pieces of special research that are currently available at the Everlight. But again, let me know in the comments if I am wrong and I will pin your comment or at least make my own comment explaining it in detail and uh, give you credit for it. So yeah, that is it there. Let's go back to the uh, dig site really quick and just check them out at the research table so I can show the requirements for each and how much reward they give you. Um, some of these are actually really high level for uh, to complete them, so you're not going to be doing some of these till later on in your archaeology. If you remember at the Infernal Source, there was two that require level 68. Um, but anyways, in order, the first one at the at the Earth Mound requires level 42, so you can do that one right away once you've access to the Everlight. Um, the next one, Ode to a Midsummer Morning, requires level 51, and that's up at the Amphitheater. So that makes sense because the Amphitheater does have level 51 plots at it, um, but that's that. The Stadio Gaga, which is down by the Dominion Stadium place, um, requires... 69 archaeology so there's the first one that's out of reach for me right now uh, oh yeah by the way the rewards uh 1533 arc hp xp for the first one and also a hollowed lantern um 2433 arc xp for ode to a midsummer morning and an everlight harp and then stadio gaga gives you 6333 archaeology xp and a damaged dominion torch uh so the xp goes up a decent amount but you're at level 69 at that point so it's a lot higher to level up uh, home Sweet Home, which is one of the ones across the uh, the broken place, is se 72 archaeology, and you get 7,333 XP and uh, one Cantharos Cup. And the last one requires all the way up at 92 archaeology, which is uh, going to give you 16,666 archaeology XP and one rod of Asclep Asclepius. Uh, that's damaged. So that is uh, the five pieces of special research that I have found at the Everlight. So um, yeah, I'll make sure to let you guys know if there are any that I did miss in the comments. And um, I will have a new video for one of the uh, one of the mysteries at the Everlight coming out quite soon. So you guys can look forward to that. And um, I will. I also have uploaded several other videos on a lot of the other mysteries, uh, special research at Caradet and the Infernal Source, as well as a money-making guide for archaeology. So you can check all those out on my channel if you're interested. But um, yeah, other than that, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this one off here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.